Hi friends, welcome to Tales for Talks. Today we have a new story based on a peculiar event that happens during summers. We are going to talk about how little Ellie, a small little camel, was tricked by the naughty sun in the hot desert. So let's get started. Once upon a time, in a large yellow desert, there lived a little camel called Ellie. She was tall, brown and beautiful. And she had deep, thick eyelashes and a round, curved hump. She walked with a graceful gait and her slender neck moved rhythmically as she walked. Now, Ellie was a very friendly camel. She was friends with everybody in the desert. But there was one person who Ellie hated the most. And that was the sun. Now the desert was a hot and dry place. And Ellie felt the sun would make it hotter by his powerful rays. Every morning he would shine down brightly on the sand. And by midday it would become so hot that poor Ellie could hardly step on it. Go away, she would scream at the sun. The sun would only laugh and shine brighter. One day, Ellie could not take it anymore. So she looked up angrily at the sun and told him, Why do you think you are so powerful, O oh sun? Burning and searing us just for fun? son was shocked at Ellie's audacity. Did she not know that he was the most powerful force in the universe? Beware before you dare to mock the sun, little one, he sternly told her. Ellie was not somebody to give up so easily. So she mocked, mockingly looked at him and said, Ha! A mere star, that is what you are. Burning and scorching us from afar? I am a beast of burden, travelling far and wide, helping people in the desert as their only guide. I live mainly on thorns and since water I rarely get, I make my own supply to keep myself sufficiently wet. Tell me if you think you are so superior like me, can you also make water? If you prove you can, O oh son, I promise I will never complain to anyone. The son was puzzled. What would he do? He thought and thought. On his way home, he met his friend, the wind. Seeing his friend was so worried, the wind asked to the son, What is the problem? So the son told him Ellie's unique challenge. The wind smiled mischievously and told the sun, I can help you create water and she will not even realize that it is just a trick of the eyes. Hot air and cold air, my two little brothers, are spread across the desert just like the others. Shine on them and make them look bright. Just watch how they can help you change your light. I can add a little bit of shimmer to make things look slick and she will not know it is a mere trick. So the two friends started planning the mischief. Next day, Wind asked his thin and skinny brother Hot Air to lie down close to the ground. Then he asked his fat and heavy cousin Cold Air to lie above him. Then the sun told Ellie, come little camel, I will show you how I can make water. Look there at those palm trees and you will see water shining before them. Now, tell me how to see things in the real world. Okay, I will tell you. So when light from a source falls on the objects, it travels back to the eyes, creating an image on our eyes to help us see those. Now, this in this case, there was a slight difference. So, what happened was, when the sun showed through his 
its light on the palm trees. The light rays traveled back to Ellie's eyes, but while it did so, it traveled through the different layers of air that were lying close to the ground. So hot air and cold air made a slight difference in the rays that traveled through it. What happened was, because of the thickness of the layers, the rays that were traveling through it became a little bent like a U-shape. And the image of the palm trees that was formed was actually formed at a slight distance from where the real trees stood. To that, wind added a little mischief. What he did? He added air currents which created a shimmering effect. So what Ellie saw was a group of palm trees standing before a pool of water shimmering and shining in the distance. And she was amazed. She thought, oh my God, I never knew the sun could actually create water. So she acknowledged the power of the sun as the greatest force in the universe. Since then, camels have been living in the desert and being fooled by mirages that are created by the naughty sun. So the mirage, my little friends, is a trick played on our eyes by light rays that travel over the skies. When the rays travel from hot air to cold air layers, they get bent owing to the thickness of the layers. The light that bounces back to our eyes as images are actually formed above or below the real object. That is why we feel that there is a water body which is reflecting the light of the images, light of the objects. So now you know how a mirage is created by the trick played by the sun and the wind together. Hope you liked our story. Do let us know how you enjoyed today's story. Do remember to subscribe to our channel Tales for Tots by clicking on the bell button. We will be back again with another new story. Till then, stay tuned, stay safe and be happy. Bye.